I'm Josh Brewer. And I'm Larissa Brewer. And we're two of the most unlikely people to be where we are at today. But the power of Christ changes everything. I grew up in a very broken home, surrounded by uh, poverty, and uh, I recall a lot of abuse, uh, kind of abuse of every kind. I remember it when I was eight years old, my dad went to prison. And at that point, my mom went out on drugs, and uh, us six kids went into foster care. When we weren't in foster care, we were in her custody in homeless shelters and battered women's shelters, motels, hotels, trailer parks. But it was a life surrounded by drugs and alcohol and violence and poverty. I remember uh, at some point in my life just spiraling out of control. And so I was angry, I was hopeless, and I was lost. I grew up as the only child between my parents and they divorced when I was five. So I have no memory of them having a happy marriage. When I went into high school, I was looking for love, looking for acceptance, looking for uh, my identity. I tried to find that identity through boys and through relationships. I was lost. When those relationships would end badly, I would turn to alcohol. And um, I started drinking at around the age of 14. And I would drink until I passed out and blacked out and didn't know where I was. I eventually started using marijuana and abusing prescription pills. I didn't have good relationships. I didn't have good grades. I was completely hopeless. I would think often about how the world would be a better place without me. It was a very scary time for me. When I was about 16 years old, I found out that we had an uncle that lived in Tennessee that we had never met before. And he had heard about our situation and the circumstances we were in. Uh, and eventually he ended up adopting us. And he went to church, so we had to go to church. It was just a foreign concept. I didn't know that there was this God that would love me uh, for who I am without having to earn it, this, this Father's love that was perfect. About a year after going to church is where I received Christ at a youth camp. Uh, and there was a radical change. There was a lot of hurt and baggage that I'd carried in. Um, but in that moment, when I received the love of the Lord for the first time, it was like an onion peeling back different layers of bitterness and resentment and unforgiveness. Everything just didn't just go away and get better right away, but there was a sense of hope that I didn't have before. And so when I confessed Jesus as, as Lord, that was the beginning of a new beginning. And at that point, um, it was, uh, you know, over the next several years where the Lord started working things uh, into me and working things out of me. I went to Sonic uh, one time and all of a sudden we order our food and this girl comes out and, uh, and a beautiful girl and I'm like, yes, Lord, uh, she's awesome. So we get to talking and uh, didn't know it at the time, but she was incredibly broken and, and uh, had a lot of hurt and pain in her life. And then he would come up there often and he would invite me to church. I would say, no, I wouldn't come with him. And the resounding thoughts in my mind were, I don't belong there. Eventually, he invited me to Starbucks, and so we went to Starbucks, and um, it was there that he shared with me that there was this God in heaven that created me, that had more good thoughts about me than there are grains of sand or stars in the sky from Psalm 139. And I had never heard that, and it blew my mind because I barely had two good thoughts about myself, and there's a God that, that did. That was a profound statement for her, for somebody who was looking for love her whole life and looking for acceptance, uh, to know that there's this God that thinks about her and not just thinks about her, but thinks about her often and thinks about her in an incredible way. So he had asked me if I would want to receive Christ. And he said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, that I would be saved. And he asked me if I wanted to do that and I said yes. So that night, I confess that Jesus is Lord, and that's really where it all changed. I felt immediately that the power of and the love of God come in and flood my soul and take away all of the, the shame and the brokenness and the hurt and the, um, the feelings of, um, of acceptance. I was accepted. And the feeling of not being lovable, I was loved. She uh, started coming to church, and uh, about a month later, we started dating. And uh, after about a year and a half, we got married. Um, so we've been married for about nine years, three kids later. 
Today I'm one of the worship leaders at Pine Lake, and if you had told me 16, 17 years ago as a broken, hopeless orphan that I would be leading worship at Pine Lake Church in the middle of Mississippi, um, I would have told you that's, that's impossible, you're crazy. If someone would have told me 10 years ago that I would be right here in this moment, I wouldn't have believed them. Having a, having a loving husband and um, a part of a great church body and having wonderful children, talking about all of this and the things I used to do and who I used to be, it feels like I'm talking about a stranger. And it's only the power of Christ. Only Jesus could do that.